today I'm going to show you how to take your top off of your Bronco. This, this guy right here. You guys know the feeling that I'm talking about. Back country road, it's beautiful. The wind is blowing through your hair. Why? Because you took the top off your Bronco. That is what I'm talking about today. I'm gonna show you how to easily and cheaply take your top off. Taking it off for the first time can be a little bit intimidating. That's what she said. So I'm gonna show you a couple of my tricks to take your top off. A couple things to note, I don't have a roll cage. You know, design-wise, it's probably a little bit different if you have a roll cage going. And honestly, this takes me about 10 minutes to do. So I'm gonna put my top back on and show you the step-by-step -step of how I take it off. Just take a small uh, half inch socket, get it on the top and then under the bed rail, um, I'll just put my half inch wrench under there, loosen it up. But there are seven of these on each side. So potentially your Bronco has seven on each side, that's 14 total. So it's gonna take a little bit to get to them. And some of them are super tricky to get to. I only keep four bolts on the bed rail. So when I put my four back, I put them in the easy spots because all I'm really doing is just holding my Bronco down. I'm not trying to seal it up for the winter. Now, if this is the first time you've ever taken the top off your Bronco, I'm gonna bet that these bolts are pretty rusted. So make sure to hit them with some PB Blaster. So that's the back. Let's go up to the windshield. So there are seven bolts along the windshield, 21 bolts total. I love math, there you go. Again, I only keep two up here because it's summer and it's okay if a little air leaks in. And the reason that I go with the, uh, the small socket is so that I can get the bolts along the windshield frame. This little low profile socket works really well. The next step is actually lifting it off. What I've done is I have grabbed a couple two by fours that are uh, longer than the width of my Bronco and I've put a couple eye bolts in here. That's why they call them eye bolts. What I do is I take these and I run them the length or the width run them the width of my Bronco, and then I hook them up to the ceiling. Also have the eye bolts in the ceiling. Make sure you get these into a stud. Don't just put them in the drywall or else this thing isn't gonna hold itself up. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And now let's go for a drive.